welcome to the show everybody thanks for joining uh, okay a lot of things to discuss this week we have my portfolio here which has shown around 3% growth in past week i have been buying throughout march and we're going to be seeing which are those companies and how i'm trying to see through this situation right now and stay focused then there are gdp numbers coming out uh, there are various reports on how the current situation is going to affect our economy earlier estimate of 5% growth is far gone case and uh, some of the reports are even pointing it to be 1% and that's going to be the lowest in last 40 years of india's history i'm going to be putting this in context later comparing it to previous events and recessions like this then we have much needed 1.7 lakh crore relief package by our finance minister which will help the medical staff and put little cash and food in poor people's hand we'll be talking a little about promoters and buyback news we'll see which company from my portfolio is buying its shares and then i'll take you guys through the data of sensex throughout its history to make some sense of everything going on here and i'll give you some of the some of my thoughts on this okay so let's dive in uh all right so let's see what's going on with the portfolio so this week saw my portfolio bouncing back 3% uh this is from last week at around minus 51% as you can see and uh, now you can see it around minus 48% but this is not anywhere close to stability this kind of volatility in the market will only be contained once we start seeing the infection decreasing till then we are on a rocky boat as you can see i have two finance companies in my portfolio and these are the companies which are getting affected the most the lenders first is edelweiss and the other one is repco home finance so some of my friends were worried about these companies and uh, were asking me questions and uh, so i thought this is a good place to talk about it first of all of course nobody knew it uh no, nobody knew that this is going to happen to our world and nobody could have been prepared for it i started buying edelweiss at the end of last year shares has fallen down a lot from since then also the big problem that i can see here is from the from the credit side uh from corporate side but with edelweiss i feel people start forgetting about the components of company this is not your typical nbfc they have three segments credit advisory and insurance and they are doing pretty great in their advisory business they are in top 3 wealth management business in india with asset under advice of over 1 trillion rupees they are the largest asset reconstruction company in india among one of the best steps the company has taken in recent past according to me is that uh, they are picking up partners for all segments separately and uh, getting funded separately that will really help the company in running individual segments with the help of partners who are experts from that field and later grow stronger and get separately registered in market and in one past year they have improved their credit to debt ratio a lot too which is keeping a lot of cash in company anyways the time is bad for all the mid segment finance companies right now and it will still take some time to recover their insurance business is still in a very nascent stage so i don't want to talk about it and it will still take company 2 to 3 years to start coming up with good numbers in that uh, refco home finance well what i liked about this company was the segment they cater to they offer loans to the lower class that most big companies just neglect their their loan size is around 15 to 20 lakhs and uh, they have been maintaining their books pretty well till now but this company can get into trouble maybe because 44% of their loans are gone towards non salary based people and because of the lockdown and everything going on those people will not be having money to pay back emis so we'll see in coming months how company is handling all of this Now uh, I know what you guys are wondering about. What about the three-month moratorium given by RBI? What about the current situation affecting the company's results? Well, the answer is yes. It's going to affect all the lenders in business, especially who are not very big ones. But these both companies are maintaining their books very well and uh, have enough cash to go through through this tornado. Edelweiss has already picked up funds from the part- partners, and uh, more is promised and signed, and it is on the way. Same goes for Repco. They have some three months cash surplus already, and plus huge credit lines with the banks uh, that they can use any time, and it goes over thousand crores worth. Yes, the NPS will increase during this period, and it's gonna be harsh for these companies. But I'm Warren Buffett's disciple, and gonna sit calmly throughout this terrible storm. I sell only if I find that the company is not on the right track anymore. As you can see, I have been buying throughout the March, and I bought some last week too. As I mentioned in last video I'm buying in small quantities because market seems to go along with the fall for next couple of months and I don't want to run out of cash before that. Last week I bought little bit of Repco and Asian Tiles. Before that I nibbled a bit on Edelweiss, Rain Industries, Everest and Butterfly Gandhimati. 
right now i'm sitting on almost 20% cash that i got after selling all my shares of avanti feet uh, sometimes back when it bounced back from the fall and made quite a profit for me but i also have business that is not bringing any money for me right now and i don't think it will do much in coming couple of months so i need to use that cash uh, well to support my staff and um, to be helpful to everybody around me uh, so that's why i'm buying it in a small amount here Many reports are coming out which are pointing towards the global recession of somewhat like 2008 financial crisis and if this happens a lot of people will be losing their jobs and getting salary cut the current situation is affecting all the sectors and not just sectors like manufacturing supply chain tourism and everything related to it uh, which most of the people were thinking initially uh, one of the reports in falls which i was reading some time back uh, which is based on research from capital economics shows 1% growth for india this year and this number is the lowest ever in last 40 years of our country there are similar reports popping out of every place but how much is going to be the real future that's hard to tell so i'm doing whatever i can do and um, that has to do a lot with reading the history related related to market meltdowns recession and different crises on human race especially if you start from 1929 great depression and what happened afterwards in america between 1929 and 1932 worldwide gross domestic product that is gdp fell by an estimated 15% 15% international trade dropped 50% 50% and and unemployment in us rose to 23% and in some countries to 33% just see the numbers how big they are my idea of giving you all these horrible details is just only for one reason now see where us is the biggest gdp the most powerful country even though the numbers of 1929 told people that everything is going to end this is what happens when you are in between of a tornado everything around you tears apart and you will think that this is the end but it's not it was in the end in great depression it was in the end when dot com bubble burst happens when 2008 happened and by the way when 2008 happened the worldwide gdp dropped just less than 1% compared to 15% during 1930s So this is the time to sit down and be calm and ride the tide and not to panic. Human race has always been through they have been through many various worse things and we will overcome this one too. Of course I'm not a medical person to give you any advice. I know as much as you know, but it's just my idea of living to be optimistic and if I can't then I'll just be calm and not get emotional about economics at least. Our finance minister has just announced 1.7 lakh crore relief package for the current situation and more is going to be coming soon it feels like. In this package about 800 million poor people will get free cereals and cooking gas apart from cash through direct transfers for 3 months. It also includes well needed medical insurance to our medical teams like doctors, nurses and everybody. Gov- government will also contribute to EPFs of companies less than 100 workers and that will cushion the damage the unemployment or salary cut will bring to them. And this package will not only help the unfortunate ones but it will help in curbing the panic a bit and will keep people at home. and that's very very important right now to to handle the situation currently okay so in last weeks uh, something exciting is also happening side by side in the market uh, and that is that promoters are piling up on their own shares we have seen mr chandra from tata buying shares in multiple tata companies and uh, then bajaj family has bought in bajaj finance and auto adani maruti india bulls all these people are putting their money in their fallen shares it brings a little confidence back in their shares at at a time like this um at a time like this it's very important that the promoters come ahead and buy their own shares from my portfolio only lt foods has done the buying they have increased 0.6% of their shares in the company but now because of delayed annual reports cb has exempted the promoters to buy back shares from april 1 to june 30 so we will not be going to see any any of the buyback anytime soon now okay so Let's get through the near history of Sensex a little bit. As you can see in 2008 the Sensex was at around 21000 and then the whole US financial crisis happened which affected the global economy and you can see it fell down to 8891 in 2009 more than 55 to 60%. And at this time the companies were going bust, banks were getting closed, countries were neck deep in debt, turmoil was everywhere. and at that time it felt like we won't be recovering from it anytime soon but as you can see next year in 2010 only we got back to around 20000 and almost recovered everything and got tailwind that took us to 28000 in 5 years then a little dip to 23000 and then straight to the peak of 41000 in 2020 from 2008 21000 sensex to the 41000 sensex in 2020 
we had seen so many issues in this period debt resolution bankruptcy millions of people suffering because of losing their home losing their job and everything again all this data is to keep yourself calm in times like this there is no way i'm saying that this current situation is as same as 2008 or anything before but in the market meltdowns are a very much part of value investors journey we will fall so deep and so big that it feels like there is no end but then we get up and get stronger and feel like we will never fall again and both are not true the idea is to stay away from emotions when it comes to the stock market at least think rationally and then take decisions market is here to serve us rather than guiding us thank you for watching guys let me know in the comments below what do you think we should be doing in the market right now buy or sell or just stay put please subscribe it motivates me to make more video for you guys thank you